Hey everyone, this is Vibhav Shandilya from ASIC Medical College, Hyderabad. And today we'll be talking about uh, Bartonellosis, which is caused by the, which is a bacterial infection caused by the Bartonella species. So, the only place I feel Bartonella uh, will be important is in your uh, MCQs. I think it's a short, short MCQ and definitely you can get three or four different types of questions formed from this topic and mostly you won't get a, a theoretical subjective answer now that you have mcqs but this is very important because you get some classical vignettes and uh, you are supposed to know those so we'll discuss this under uh, the usual uh, introduction and then we'll look at the different clinical manifestations and the lab diagnosis okay so coming to the introduction so this is caused by a gram negative bacilli and the causative organism for bartonellosis is bartonella hensley Quintana and Bartonella bacilliformis. Okay, Hensley, Quintana and bacilliformis. Now, Bartonella Hensley is the main causative organism. It causes fat scratch disease and bacillary angiomatosis. Okay, both of these are important, very important. Fat scratch disease and bacillary angiomatosis, while bacillary Quintana causes trench fever. And the third one is not important. Now, coming to Bacille, uh, Bartonella hensley, which causes bacillary angiomatosis and cat scratch disease. Let's look at the difference and the manifestations. So, bacillary angiomatosis will be caused, the main difference, it will be caused in immunocompromised people. Okay, in immunocompromised people. While cat scratch disease will be caused in immunocompetent people. Okay, immunocompetent immunocompromised. This is the only and main difference between both these diseases apart from the manifestations. But this is the most obvious uh, difference. Now, angiomatosis as the name suggests, you will see angioproliferative disorders, neurovascular lesions all over the body. Okay, so there will, there will be these patches and lesions all over the body. Angioproliferative disorders, immunocompromised. Okay, Next, we have cat scratch disease. As the name suggests, it is caused because of a bite or a scratch of a cat. And here, we will see regional lymphadenopathy, usually in the axillary region. The lymph nodes will be enlarged. This is a very important point because you will also take specimens from here. There will be painless papules at the site of the bite. Okay, we will see painless papules. And this is seen in immunocompetent people. Very important. Okay, this was healthy. Next, we have Bartonella Quintana. Okay. Now, this the only thing important is it causes trench fever. And trench fever is also known as five-day fever. Why? Because it recurs every five days. It occurs every five days. Now, coming to the lab diagnosis. Specimen, you can take blood, lymph node and skin biopsy. Because you get skin lesions, lymph node enlargement and in the blood, you get infection. Now, microscopy. This is... The only important thing in lab diagnosis, the only one thing you need to remember in lab diagnosis, the Warthin starry silver stain is used to detect this uh, these Bartonella organisms. Okay, the Warthin starry silver stain, very important. Apart from this, usual antibody detection by IFA and enzyme immunoassay, immunofluorescence assay and enzyme immunoassay, and molecular by PCR. It's a very small topic, nothing important except a few important point, a few pointers. Um, uh, Bartonella hensley causing bacillary angiomatosis in immunocompromised and cat scratch disease in immunocompetent. Here it is an angioproliferative disorder. Here you get regional lymphadenopathy. Apart from this, lab diagnosis: microscopy by warthin starry silver stain. Okay, so basically I gave you three points. These are the only things you should remember here. Okay, thank you for watching this video.